Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. I'm a clinical pharmacist practitioner. Um, today I have basically I have joined my first class of independent prescribing. So as you all know that I'm a pharmacist practitioner and I'm taking this independent prescribing course. In England basically pharmacists they can take the independent prescribing course and they can you know write prescriptions and uh, authorize medications so basically i'm taking this course in university of hertfordshire yay and it is basically um six month six months course today is my induction and basically i'm on my tree break now and uh, i'm gonna tell you much more detail about this course um what needs to be undertaken assessments so basically i have chosen university of hertfordshire because i have done my masters in pharmacology in university of hertfordshire and hertfordshire university does have like a bit of collaboration with health education england so the course is six months course and this course is fully funded by health education england basically i don't have to pay anything the course is uh, 1495 pounds and I don't have to pay for it which is really good it feels good as well and um, the assessments are like I have to sit for an OSCE there is calculation exam numeracy skills exam the, I have to submit an essay I have to write a portfolio I have to pass a test which is uh, pharmacology based uh, medication prescribing based 80% I need to pass so a little bit about myself I'm a registered practice um, pharmacist uh, in the United Kingdom and I have taken my master's degree in pharmacology from University of Hertfordshire I have done my postgraduate certificate in primary care from Bath University which was fully funded by the NHS I have also done two modules um, for primary care however I couldn't I, I just I paused it because now I'm currently also on a pathway which is 18 months course and this um, this is also fully funded by the NHS England I have paused the pathway as well but although I was told that simultaneously I can continue the primary care network pathway so yes so basically too too many things are going on at the same uh, stage and um, in this pre independent prescribing course i was told like you know i have to choose a scope of practice and for the scope of practice i have chosen diabetes because i do run clinics on diabetes asthma copd hypertension in my practice already however i thought like diabetes is such a broad area and uh, it's, it's a very common condition as well so i thought like it, it will be great if i can develop myself more in diabetes and so there are 25 online classes online because of covid19 and um, one face to face so yes can't wait um, to finish this course and hopefully i'm gonna nail it <laughs> Um, another thing I really want to mention that England is an amazing place basically it supports so much like like I have got so much support from NHS health education England like I'm, I'm developing personally developing myself and all these courses I'm taking they're fully funded as well I don't have to like pay for it so which is really great even when I wanted to take my independent prescribing course my practice wanted to pay for it and they said like yeah pinky just go for it if you have to and obviously um I, I i do get so much support even from clinical commissioning group like ccg they, they support me a, a lot they support pharmacists a lot and this is part one of my independent prescribing um day one and i have to go back and attend my class basically i'm on my tea break now thanks for watching do like share and subscribe all right